Hello and welcome to the Ryan Machad Classic Firearms Channel. I am Ryan Machad and the saga of the broken guns continues. This time, my Colt 1903 Pocket Hammerless Model M. Uh, magazine is empty, gun is empty. Basically, I had this out at the range today uh, doing the We Like Shooting contest and the firing pin broke. Uh, what's interesting about the Colt 1903 is that um, unlike some other firearms, it has a two-piece firing pin. So you have the rear firing pin and um, there's going to be a schematic shown on the screen here that will show you, I believe it'll be part four and then part 4A. Uh, now looking around at the different parts suppliers on the internet, um, only a couple of them have 4A, which is the part that I need, the rear part. And if you look right there, I don't know if we can make it so you can see this a little bit better. That is the rear part of the firing pin that broke off. So, uh, there's a video here you'll see at the end of this clip. Basically, I get four rounds off from the Colt, and then uh, I notice that... Um, it clicked, so I thought it was empty. Uh, so I go drop the mag, and I uh, pull the slide back to check the chamber, and out comes a live round. I was like, that's strange. So I put another one in, pull the trigger, and I got a click. Well, I didn't look at the first round that I kicked out, so I looked at the second one that come out when it went click, and there was no indentation on the, on the primer. So I was like, okay. So I looked up in the underside of the, the gun, and I see that there's a hole there where the firing pin should be. And I look on the ground and I can see that piece down there. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this down just to kind of show you what it looks like on the inside. So turn the barrel. So you turn the barrel all the way around and then the slide right off the frame. Catch the spring so you don't drop it. So uh, there's the inside of the uh, frame itself. You can see there's the hammer, so it's not really hammerless, it's just a concealed hammer. And uh, then we have the slide assembly, so you twist the barrel and it comes right out. And show you the locking lugs on the bottom there of the barrel. And under there is where the firing pin is. It's in that little block there. And the firing pin is, I can see it in the front end of the breech face, but if you look right up in there, there's a small hole where that piece should go. I don't know if there's some light that would allow you to see it better, but... So yeah, basically I have to uh, drive some of these pins out here and uh, replace that, that part if I can find it. Um, there are a couple places, I guess, that are carrying them, so hopefully... One of them can hook me up with that part, and I can get this gun fixed. Um, I have the part for my Smith & Wesson Model 60 on the way right now, so that gun should be back up and running fairly soon. And I'll have to go searching for this one, so it never ends. So uh, enjoy the video uh, showing the failure today, and remember, any gun can break no matter what brand it is. And this gun is 100 years old, so that probably had something else to do with it. All right, this time we're going to try the Colt 1903 32 caliber pistol. This gun's over 100 years old almost. All right, here we go. We're not going to include that one. 